Here is a enlarged model of the larynx, the voice box. The voice box is a cartilaginous box. There's cartilage all around it. The most prominent cartilage is this big one in the front known as the thyroid cartilage. This big bone right up here is the hyoid bone, the bone that's not attached to anything else. This is the thyroid gland, just below the thyroid cartilage, the thyroid gland. So if we turn this around now, we can see it from the back. This is the epiglottis. It's also cartilage. And the whole idea of the epiglottis is when you swallow, the epiglottis covers the opening, the glottis, in the larynx so that you don't swallow food down into your larynx. That forces it to go through the esophagus. I'll show you the relative position of the esophagus and the trachea in a minute. Okay, And then if you look down in here, let me tilt it just a little bit, represented by these papers, those are the vocal folds or the vocal cords. Okay, And then what you see coming down below from the larynx is this cartilaginous uh, C-shaped ring structure called the trachea trachea. So here's the things you need to look at on this model. The hyoid bone, that's the bone that doesn't articulate with any other bone. You can see the epiglottis there. The epiglottis normally is up and the glottis is open. The glottis is the opening. Then this is what? The thyroid cartilage. This is the thyroid gland. Around on the back, there's your epiglottis, the openings, the glottis, okay. and then also these are the vocal cords or vocal folds, folds around it. And then what's coming down inferior from the larynx is the trachea, the trachea.